As you know, we saw some questions for you from Twitter. Yes. So oh. uh, I'll kick off with them now. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. So this one comes from Batman Cake, and it says, "What's the first thing you do when you wake up?" First thing, go on, go on, on my phone. Check yeah. Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah we all do that. Yeah. Just check go your phone. Your eyes are like that. <laughs> You just look at like, You got old man eyes. We get all the crust here. <laughs> you on your Twitter. Looking, looking on the phone, checking emails. Yeah. And this one comes from Dominica J ninety four, and it says, "Which song from the new album is, is the most individually important to you? Which one is closest to your heart?" Oh, that's a wicked question. That's a great question. It's a deep question. That's a deep one. Uh, uh, I don't know. I have no idea. I like probably closest to the heart would be the songs your song and pills for me. Because they're the emotional ones that go deep, deep. I think, um, I think for me, so what? I think so. I was just saying, so what to everyone, so what to our old label stuff like that. So I think it's just. I think I'd agree with you there. Yeah. Like the first thing you said, I wouldn't have you. <laughs> <laughs> and it was agreeing with you. <laughs> it's an important thing that had to be said. <laughs> Mate, stick together. So what? <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I, I think so. What is a good one? It's a big f you to everyone, really. Yeah. So it's yeah. Alright, this next one comes from Alcoholic94. <laughs> <laughs> and it says, What song are you most looking forward to playing live? Oh, song Ooh. most looking forward to playing live. Hmm. I'm really looking forward to playing uh, Monday. Yeah, yeah, Monday. Yeah. Monday. Maybe keep your hands off my chick. Good life, that'll be fun. I'm what? looking forward to playing every song, to be honest. Poison will be good. Pretty much every song. Because yeah. we've yeah. never Poison. played them live, so it's kind of like, it's just going to be madness. It's going to be... We haven't even practiced them live yet. The first rehearsals today, so... Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we don't suck. <laughs> this next one is from Ella J.B. Johnson. It says, which one of you is the messiest? Messiest. Kit. Kit. Kit's bedroom's uh, really I messy. Know. I think we're all equally as messy as each other. No. Well, me and Dean, Kieran's Dean bedroom's is really messy. Let's, let's think about HQ. Dean is the... We're all uh, messy. D Dean is the, like, laziest messy. No, I'm not. Actually, no, you know what? I'm taking it back. No, you are the messiest. What, the guy that cleans up HQ. All Cigarette the time. boxes, cartons of juice. Alright, I won't clean HQ. It's <laughs> your mess to clean. <laughs> it's a touchy subject. Yeah, it's a touchy subject. <laughs> it's a touchy subject. Chris Packett, sweet wrappers. <laughs> he cleans it up, but eventually. Started a war. It's <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next one's from Rev2108, and it says, whose idea was it to call the band Room 94? Um, probably yours. Yeah, well, the band has been going for like... Since 2007. Seven years, uh, eight years. Bloody hell. Jeez. So, um, and we used to just practice. It wasn't a proper band, you know, just with mates at school. We used to just jam out in the, the practice room at school, which was Room 94. It's not even 94 now, it's 93. It's changed now, but yeah, yeah it was Room 94. So at the time, we, we used to just practice in there <laughs> and go... <laughs> Go to room 94. So then we just called called it. <laughs> we called ourselves room 94. None of the members now are there in the band, but <laughs> yeah, we just went back to it because it sounded sounded cool. It was like Blink Connect 2, Sun 41. It had a number in it. Green Day 75. So, <laughs> so it sounded. We wanted a number in the band name. Um, this next one comes from Bedexia and says, "Who's your collective favorite band? Who's the band that everybody likes?" Oh, Blink. Blink. Blink, yeah, I think. Blink. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, let's go a bit, let's go a bit. It's Blink 182, there's someone else we all proper love. Who is it? We we'll always listen to. Um, Kid Ink. We listen to him a lot. Band Kit. It's <laughs> a band. Nah, I'm not into Kid Ink. Um, the band. Uh, nah, it's, it's Blink 182. Yeah, it's Blink. Blink 182. Okay. And then this next one comes from Ha Holly and it says, Who's the best with the ladies? Kit, Cass Cass Casanova Kit. here. <laughs> Do you agree? Uh, there's no, something no, about him. He's no like, comment. there's <laughs> something. <laughs> like, I think he's got that like dirty kind of, <laughs> dirty kind of rugged, rugged for look that the girls love, and they uh, they want to they want to fix him. <laughs> <laughs> he always tells girls he loves them. <laughs> That's it. He's rugged. He's a good liar. <laughs> That's what you need. That's what you need. He's, in a he's got a good, great smile. <laughs> look at him. Bloody hell. <laughs> And quick as well. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the next one comes from Lesak and it says, What's your favourite country that isn't England and why? Favourite country that isn't England? It's probably got to be Poland, to yeah, be honest, like because Poland's we, cool. 
we have a we have uh, we have a good fan base. We have a good there. fan base, yeah, and we, we're all we've toured there for the last three years, and uh, we always have a good time there. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're yeah. Really nice to us. And, and they've country. just opened, like the Polish fans have just like kind of, it came from nowhere, and they've just accepted us, and they're just so good it's like to our us. Second out there. home, it is. Could say. Yeah, it is. Like you could that. say that, yes. <laughs> this next one is from Vampet Lauren. It says, "If you could be anyone just for one day, who would you be, and why?" I'd be oh. Kit to give it a go, just see what <laughs> 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 I, I'd be uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> oh, it's Leo so, DiCaprio. Yeah, that's a good one. You know, I'm going to change it. I'm going for Harry Styles just to mix up. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll try one of them. Bieber or Harry Styles, see what it's like being yeah. like. See how annoying it is, everyone. <laughs> yeah, seeing what it's like. I'll be Leo just. If I was having Kanye out on the beach, Kanye, Kanye West, camp. see what it's like being <laughs> Kanye. That'll be, that'll be a quality. <laughs> Kim K as well, so. <laughs> yeah, we mess around with that. <laughs> Have a little look. <laughs> Alright, this next one's from Malfoyek, and it says, What is your favourite pizza? Favourite pizza? Just a standard meat combo. Yeah, for me. just yeah. meat yeah. everywhere. Meat feast, yeah. Anything, meat. Any meat. Meat or pizza, to be honest. Oof. Meat, 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 meat. <laughs> And continuing the pizza theme, this one from Punk Den that says, Would you sell each other for a lifetime supply of pizza? How much is a lifetime? Sometimes you see things. Win a lifetime supply of Yeah, so it's, you've got to read the small roll. print. You've got to read so, the small print. Yeah. 50 <laughs> terms packs. conditions. Where's the pizza coming from? There's, yeah. too, many, there's too many options. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what's it? Would you sell? So would you sell, if you had to sell a member of the band, in exchange you get a lifetime supply of pizza, would you do it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, people too unhealthy as well. <laughs> yeah. I think, the only, serious answer? <laughs> nah, probably not. Other arts are, yeah, we yeah, sell so kit. kit. <laughs> <laughs> I'd sell kit just to see the experience of selling him. Like, someone, coming, someone, someone, come, someone coming to check him out, going, let's have a look at him. How much would he be worth? How much would he be worth? No, no, I think if you're going to do this, I reckon if you're going to sell a person, you, I mean, you'd be worth about, I price about you. Three, three, 300 grand. He's not dominant. Nah! No, if, we're, if we're doing it on, on lifetime people, he's, he's going to be someone to life. £11,246. Nah. <laughs> It's Five the months. lifetime, he's gonna, you're selling a person. It's not like yeah, a... What's he going to do? Like, they own me. Whatever, they, they, they own whatever. it. They want 500, quid, 500 quid, 500 quid. If you're selling me, I want you to be a profit. profit. We'll all put on eBay, see what happens. <laughs> no one is paying. You find me a man who pays 300 pounds for that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this next one's from Charlie Page, and it says, if you could add one more member to the band, another musician, dead or alive, who would you choose? Oh, great question. That's a good question. Dead or alive musician. I, I was going to say MJ, but I think he'd nah. try and take over too yeah, much. Yeah, he would. He'd be all over the place. <laughs> he'd bossy, wouldn't he? Too much, <laughs> too much drama with him. Too yeah, much drama with MJ. Great, great musician. Um, uh, Dave Grohl could do no, anything. Uh, Dave Grohl could do anything. Or Dave he'd take over and make us do something well. crazy as well. I mean, he'd, he'd, he'd help us grow. Out. Dave Grohl would help I us grow. I think he'd kick me out, I reckon. I just got a vibe. Nah, he'd do so much. He'd help you. Two drummers or something. I don't know. Yeah, Dave Grohl. Dave Grohl. <laughs> Dave Grohl. Give him do a anything. Go. I was going to say He'll Elvis. He'll help us grow as well. I was going to say Elvis, but he's unreliable. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one comes from Rachel Morgan and it says, Who's the biggest lightweight? Uh, oh, as in alcohol? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Oh, we're all pretty good at drinking. Yeah. I think we're all right. Yeah, I don't know who's the biggest lightweight. Why are you looking at me? Not me. Well, you always go, Oh, I'm s sleepy. No, no one's a lightweight. Dean tired. gets tired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't. I don't, I don't know. know, I think we're all right. We're all pretty similar. Yeah. Maybe different days, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the final question, this comes from Mad Bash Tash and it said, What's the oh, weirdest man. thing you've ever been asked to sign? Weirdest thing been asked to sign? Um, um but you get like well, uh, sign someone's forehead. So yeah, sign someone's forehead. <laughs> That's pretty weird because <laughs> then they're walking around with sharp as <laughs> that. And it won't come off. Um yeah. what, what else have been asked to sign? It has been some weird stuff. Um, what have we signed? We've, I know we've signed something weird a bit weird stuff. before, but I can't picture it. But it's not too weird, but you always sign shoes, it's foreheads. Foreheads is my favourite because then there's foreheads proper ruins so their day. Bad. If they go home and nah, the next dude. couple days. Yeah, you know what, foreheads are probably the weirdest <laughs> yeah. because who wants their forehead signed? <laughs>